freaking viral mob facts and secrets that literally defy Minecraft logic to see if they are real or just clickbait. Make sure to watch until the end of the video because you won't believe how much we break the game. Minecraft's foxes look like this when Mojo tried to add them. <laughs> foxes can use fire aspect swords. Wait, White really? foxes look different in Minecraft dungeons. Foxes have double the health in Bedrock Edition. Armor okay. stands stop foxes sleeping. Foxes are the only mobs that close their <laughs> eyes when sleeping. Only foxes and goats can jump more than one block. Polar bears make foxes run away. Foxes Wait, spawn do? in groups of two to four. More huh. XP drops on foxes in Bedrock Edition. Really? Foxes sometimes spawn with emeralds. Spider eyes poison foxes. Huh. Chorus fruit makes foxes teleport. Wait, Baby foxes polar bears attack foxes huh? in Java Edition. Subscribe. I want a magical fox that can teleport and use a fire aspect. Sword, but it's also scared of polar bears. Those are the three things that I'm questioning, guys. But let's go ahead, put down our fox here. All right, Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox, please don't run away. Please, I need to know. No. Oh my. It, he just brutally murdered a chicken. All right, Mr. Fox, eat this. Okay. Okay, he's got it in his mouth. Did he just drop an egg? Does Mr. Fox just lay an egg? Huh? But I want to see. Does he teleport away? Hmm, maybe it was just clickbait. Whoa! Guys, you saw that, right? Mr. Foxy, he did just teleport. It's true. And look, guys, he's eaten up the chorus fruit. It was really quick. He ate the chorus fruit. I also want to see one of these foxes use a fire aspect sword. I need to know my eyes weren't just playing tricks on me, guys. If oh, there we go. I knew it. He can teleport. Okay, so that's not clickbait. I was really beginning to think that was fake. Can they pick up these fire aspect swords? Oh, they can. All right, let's grab ourselves chicken. All right. It's full. Oh, yo. Can see there. The chicken is actually cooked because the fox did, in fact, use the fire aspect sword. I can't believe that works. And now we're going to scare away these foxes with a polar bear. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. Polar bears do, in fact, chase after foxes. Oh, oh, my goodness. Polar bears attack foxes. No, quick. Take back the enchanted sword, fox. Please pick it up. No, my friend. Polar bear, you are evil. I thought you were cute. But, but no, now you're just pure evil. This video from Stevie claims that apparently he's found the way to stop Enderman from taking damage from water. So let's see. Okay, so he puts an Enderman in the cage and drops it. See, see, I knew it. He hasn't. It's clickbait. He spawns the water and the Enderman's like, you, you, I'm out. I don't understand. A boat. Okay, so you're going to send him on a boat. Well, he's not touching the water, so I think that's okay. He's just scared of it touching him. So as long as he's in a boat, it should be okay. But wait, is he going to drop water on his head? No. Excuse me? Mr. Enderman, you are inside water. What is going on? Huh? No, 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 no. I need proof of this madness. Because you're telling me I just put down this boat here, guys. And suddenly I can uh, stack up like so. Grab our Enderman. Okay, could you please get in the boat, Mr. Enderman? All right, here we go. We're going to do two buckets. All right, we've got one. Fine. Two. Aya! Ba, 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 ba. Yes. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We need to stop the boat from going away here, guys. Okay, here we go. Mr. Enderman, do you not realize that you are taking a shower? Oh, wait. Okay, wait, wait. He took damage from the water, but he jumped out of the boat first. That's actually a really important note. So I don't think that he actually took damage while he was in the boat. Wait, so if we grab our water. Yeah, so as long as he is in the boat, he is invincible to the water. But if he chooses to teleport out of it, then there's nothing we can do about that. We can't stop Mr. Enderman from tying out of the boat. But in fact, this defies all Minecraft logic. Uh, bone mill isn't exactly a mob. Oh, but a pig is. Huh? Did you just bone mill a pig into a hog? Now, I'd say this was clickbait since I've just never seen it before. Bone mill makes stuff grow. So why wouldn't bone mill turn a pig into a hoglin? We put our pig down. We'll put our bone mill in three, two, one. Excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, guys, have a look. at This is my mouse. I am clicking the button. Pig is staying pig. This is what a hoglin looks like. That's what a pig looks like. I should have trusted my gut. It is, in fact, clickbait, guys. But how did they scam us all? I will not stand for clickbait. We need to expose these guys. <laughs> now, I'm going to be honest. I'm not even mad that these guys clickbaited us because what they did was impressive. Like, very impressive. It took me forever to figure out what voodoo magic they were using to make this work. First off, they had some commands. They had this one here that summoned a pig that had no AI and was age zero. So if we go ahead and click this button right now, you can see and what's important is his age is data zero and he can't move. That's super important. The next thing that happened, guys, is they had a lever here on attached to a repeating command block. If you have a look at this a bad boy command, it's executing if entity at E, MBT, and it's putting them in love, run execute at E, type equals pig, run summon, and then it summons the hoglin in on the age zero pig. 
but they also used a texture pack. You can see this is bone meal, but they never actually showed us the name of it in the video. They actually just have a retextured carrot that uses the bone meal texture. Now, when I come up to this pig, we use the carrot. He's going to turn in love, but we've now coded using that command block to turn in love pigs into hoglins. So check this out, guys. Finally, bang and boom. We've got exactly like they had it in the video. Boy, that was complex. But this mob fact is in fact exposed. Okay, what's going on here, guys? What am I looking at? Some cobblestone. Yes, nice mob packs. Oh, okay, we're spawning in a skeleton. So this is a skeleton mob fact. All right, uh, so he's getting an instant damage potion and a splash potion of healing. So he puts the potion of harming on our skeleton and nothing happens? But the potion of healing... Wait a minute, did that... Hold up. What? Did the potion of healing just kill the skeleton? The instant damage potion did nothing, but the healing potion damaged him? Look at how many damage potions he put on the skeleton, and it's just invincible. You wanted broken mob facts that defy Minecraft logic? Well, look, I'm giving them to you guys. Go ahead, and we'll build out a little cage that our skeleton doesn't burn in the daylight. Very, very clear. Potion of harming. If I switch into survival and put this on me, I take damage, okay? The potion of healing on me, I get healed. It's pretty straightforward, all right? But skeletons break that, according to this video anyways. Excuse me? It's get Mr. Skeleton, why are you not dying? What is got? I will spam you. I will spam you until you die. How is this bug? What is going on? And you're telling me I just put a splash potion of healing in. You're kidding. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding Minecraft logic who? Minecraft logic who? 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 You can use striders to ride on top of other mobs. Wait, you can? Oh my gosh, you can. Look at that. He's riding on top of husks. I'm assuming because they follow him and then he just keeps going on top. That is so cool. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait to ride atop ginormous mob towers sitting high and mighty on my strider. So we're going to spawn in an absolute ton of husks. That is super important. Okay, we don't want them up here. We need to switch into survival. Oh, no, don't switch into survival. Okay, we need to make our platform a little higher. I did not think this through. All right, take two. Let's spawn in our husks here, guys. We're going to have an absolute ton of them so that our strider does not fall off. All right, and then we need to be in survival so that they're chasing after us. We'll put down our strider. All right, let's get ourselves a saddle. We'll put this on top and switch into survival once again. All right, hustle them over here. We jump on top of our strider and down we go. What? No, this isn't working. I'm gonna die. No, no. <laughs> oh, I'm broken, guys. I was so excited to make a mob down with the strider. I almost clickbait strider. You let me down. I did a little bit of check-in and I figured out exactly how they clickbaited us. So I'm going to expose them right here and now. We had the strider like so. The saddle on top, they typed into the chat slash attribute. And then there's this giant number that automatically appears. You click on this number like so, just like that. That should do the trick here, guys. All right, if we tab onto that number, space, and then you want to do forge, and then the two colons, and it's entity gravity, base, space, set, and then they did slash negative 0.1230s, and then one, and they hit enter. And I'm pretty sure that should do the trick here, guys. And then we got to bring it down to the level of our husks like they had in the video. We'll switch into survival, jump on top here, and have a look at that, guys. Now we can actually ride across the top of the mob's head, just like they did in the video. Yes, it was, in fact, clickbait, but I suppose you can still do it with the command. And there were no mods and no texture packs this time around, so at least I can still kind of have my mob towers. Now, what mob fact do we have next here, guys? All right? Wood? This is not a mob. <laughs> sheep! Okay, I've guessed the mob. This is a mob fact about sheep. What exactly are we learning here, guys? Okay, you put sheep on either side of wall. And if you breed them, they walk around the wall? Well, that makes sense. Wait. Okay, so now he's building two walls? I'm so confused, guys. If you know what's going on, let me know in the comments. Okay, now he's giving them wheat. They won't be able to breed because the wall's in the way. Wait. Did that just breed a baby sheep? Huh? Once again, logic seems to be missing because now you can just, you know, breed sheep through walls. That's right. Not going to go through the process of making babies in this video because I'm going to get demonetized. The, the reality is here, guys, you can't do this unless, you know, they're together. There cannot be a wall in between the two sheep in order for them to, you know, breed. There we go. We've got our two walls. Sheepy on this side. Sheepy on this side. Give it a bit of wheat. Give it a bit of wheat. Let's see. Can we produce a baby sheepy? You're kidding me. You're kidding. You're kidding. Explain. You should not be real. You should not exist. Your life is a lie, Mr. Sheep. All right. Can they breed through a two block thick wall? If this is the case, I'm going to jump out a window. Oh, wait. Okay. We feed one wheat. Feed one wheat. Can we produce a baby through a two block thick wall? Maybe? I can't tell, guys. Do we have a baby on this side? No. Okay. But they are just staring at each other. 
At least the game isn't totally broken. Things that will make you say, hey, that's not in Minecraft. We got to sell our shulker. And you feed it golden apples. And now what? I'm confused. You feed the shulker golden apples. And now what? We just wait for a little bit. Something's supposed to happen. You punch the shulker. Oh my gosh, magical pigs. And now we're going to build a little bit of a pig farm. All right, there we go. Piggies, my piggy boys. Are you ready to fly? Because apparently that's what this video says you can do. Nope, you are not allowed. Do not escape. Do not escape. Your freedom is not real. Okay, sounded really mean there. Okay, we got ourselves a shulker. We got to feed him the golden apples there. All right, we got to... Okay, this is harder than you would think. Okay, feed, feed, feed. And then he ate the golden apples. And then what we had to do was he opened up his pause menu, went settings to video, and then turned hide hard on. I don't know what that would do. But now all we're supposed to do is... Oh, wait, no, he punched the shulker. Any day now. Excuse me? Uh, okay, wait, we'll put the enchanted apples back. And punch. I'm sorry, pigs. The golden apples, the golden apples haven't been, wait, can this thing even eat the golden apples? Hold up. It can't. Clickbait, clickbait, I smell clickbait. Gosh dang it, I hate being clickbaited, guys. But we're not going to let them get away with it. Nah, 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 we're ruining their career. We're exposing their clickbait acts, guys, and showing you exactly how they did this. This, again, was a bit complex, but I think I figured out. Basically, we have a ton of pigs just like so, guys. And then we went ahead and we have this repeating command block here, guys, that has a test for at a name equals enchanted apple at a specific coordinate. So we've got one, two, nine, three, six, three, negative one. Now, yes, you guessed it, we gotta go find Find this point here, guys, because right here, 129263, negative 1, is this it? 129363, negative 1. This right here, this coordinate, is where we are going to be placing down our shulker. So we're going to spawn our shulker right there, and that coordinate is going to line up with what's in our command block. This is a repeat and needs redstone. Then coming out of this, we got ourselves a redstone comparator, a command block facing upwards, that is kill at E name equals enchanted apple, so it looks like it's been eaten. And then above that, guys, we've got a chain command block that is always active, and this is doing effect at E on pigs with levitation 5, 1, true. Watch this, guys. It's as simple as this. We put the lever on top of that repeating command block, and now we'll turn this machine on. And when I put an enchanted apple here on our shulker, just like this, ready, open it up. No, I would close it up again. Oh, it's open next. Okay, we put the enchanted apple in. Now you punch him. And check this out, guys, of voila, just like the video, levitating pigs, and now they're gonna fall. I'm so sorry. Ooh, that kind of makes me look like a murderer. I promise that was not the intention of this video. I just wanted to expose the clickbait, guys. No pigs were harmed in the making of this video, other than all of those, but don't look that way! What's the rarest mob drop in Minecraft? I don't know, you There's tell me! There's actually a 25% chance you can get a stick from a witch, but this is irrelevant, and we can get even rarer. We There's can? actually an 8.5% chance oh. of getting a bow from an illusioner. Wow! But since this mob doesn't actually exist in survival Minecraft, this number goes down to 0. 0.0000 a billion zeros one. And believe it or not, there's a 0.000104% chance of actually getting a crossbow from a piglet. But the wow. rarest item that can ever be dropped by a mob is Protection 6 Diamond Armor protection from a Skeleton six. Rider. This has Wait, a 0. you can't even percent chance of dropping. That's lower than the odds of getting struck by lightning in real life what? twice. And it's almost as low as and the chance that your parents clickbait? love you. Now, as you guys saw, the chance of actually spawning in that mob, though, is very rare. 0. 0.0001 or something or rather. Um, and if we we go ahead and just grab any old command block here, guys. We've got a command that just summons in ourselves a skeleton horse that is riding, that is being ridden by a skeleton. If we go ahead and do this, in theory, guys, if we click this button over and over and over and over and over again, oh, we probably should set the time to night. There we go. If we just have a lever here and we just infinitely spawn in these at some point, we should theoretically get a skeleton horse with a enchanted diamond helmet here, guys. Okay, none of these are even spawning with helmets. This is very depressing. Okay, look, guys. Look, the chance is so low. We could be here for days, even months, even years. We want to do this straight away. So I set up a command, guys, to spawn it in. And here's the interesting thing. This command does, in fact, exist. Work. If we switch the time back to a day here, guys. Oh, these guys are... These guys are gonna hate me. I am so sorry. We spawn this in. Have a look at that. The command doesn't give you an error code. It does, in fact, exist in the game. Um, I don't know whether it's as rare as the video says. There's no way for me to really test that. I'm not that good with numbers. But it does work, and it does exist in the game. And now if we grab ourselves a sword, and we go ahead and kill our skeleton horse first, and then we kill our skeleton just like this. Check this out, guys. It drops the helmet. And have a look at this. 
Protection 6. It does, in fact, exist here in the flesh. How cool is that? The most powerful and strong armor in the game. Now, for our next mob fact today, guys, you're going to have to subscribe and watch the next video because that's all the time we've got for today. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, anyway, stream out. Bye.